Okay guys, the question today is what size dehumidifier do I need for my home, my garage or my basement? Now I get sent this question all the time. A quick introduction about me, my name is Bob Bentley and I've been a dehumidifier expert for over 30 years and yes I'm an absolute geek and I drive my wife mad. The point is that no one really wants to spend their hard earned money on a dehumidifier. So I give advice, I review dehumidifiers and obviously I find the cheapest places possible for you to buy them, at the, well obviously at the cheapest cost. Now back to the question. I get asked this question all the time from people wanting to buy a dehumidifier but they're just not sure what pint size to go for let alone which make or model. At best dehumidifiers for home reviews, I give honest and impartial advice on different size dehumidifiers from the likes of Frigadier 50 pints or perhaps a Danby 70 pint dehumidifier. Now, just in case you didn't know, when I talk about a 70 pint dehumidifier or a 65 or a 50 or a 40 pint dehumidifier, etc., I am actually referring to the amount of water, i.e. moisture in the air, the dehumidifier will collect in a 24 hour period, so over one day. So if you are looking for a 30 pint dehumidifier, it means that the maximum amount of water the dehumidifier could remove from the air during a 24 hour period will be 30 pints. If it was a 70 pint dehumidifier, the maximum amount of uh, moisture it would remove from the air would be 70 pints over a day. So I hope you get that. Now that we've cleared that up, you need to know what size dehumidifier is best for your purposes. First of all, you have to be accurate. To do this accurately, you need to know the overall square footage of the area, i.e. the room size, from which you want to remove mold or damp. Now the way to do this is to measure the length of the room and the width of the room. If you then multiply these two measurements, this will give you the square footage of the room. Do you get that? Now, once we know the square footage of the room, we can decide which is the best pin, sorry, the best pint dehumidifier for you. There's one other element we have to discuss and that's humidity level. Now you obviously you have to consider this. How bad is the current humidity level in your home or your basement or your garage? Is the area very damp or just moderately damp? Now, what clues can you see which determine the overall dampness of the room? Clues, clues include that musty smell, which I'm sure you recognize, condensation on your windows, chip paintwork, and warped wood. So let's say that the area has a medium level of dampness. You will know if it's of an average level as you can smell the damp and you will see condensation build, build up on any windows. For this type of environment, and say your room is approximately 500 square foot, you will require anything up to a 20 pint dehumidifier. Now you want to be really accurate. So it, you know, well, if you want to be really accurate, you should invest in a humidity gauge which tells you exactly how much water you can potentially remove from the affected room. So let's give you an example. Based on a 500 square foot room, as I mentioned before, you can buy a dehumidifier that can remove up to 20 pints of water a day. Remember, this is for a moderately damp area. You must increase it if the room suffers from bad humidity. You should then add three pints for every additional 500 square foot of space. For example, if the room measured a thousand square foot, you'd require approximately a 23 pint dehumidifier. Now, of course, that don't exist, so you'd have to go for a 30 pint dehumidifier here. So to recap, you need approximately a 25 pint dehumidifier for a 500 square foot room with a, that is moderately damp. A thousand square foot room with moderate damp would require 23 pints. A 1,500 square room with moderate damp would require 26 pints and so forth. So I hope that makes sense to you. 
However, in my personal opinion, I believe that if you want to remove the damp effectively, you should go for a higher pint dehumidifier. Why risk your health and your home for the sake of a few dollars if you could afford it, of course? And in most cases, I'd always go for a Frigadier 70 pint dehumidifier. They're always the best on the market. Now, I hope this article and this video on the best pint dehumidifier for a specific room and damp level has been useful. For more information, reviews and the best places to buy the cheapest dehumidifiers, be sure to take a look at my personal blog which is www.bestdehumidifiersforhomereviews.com Now I know that is a huge mouthful, it's www.bestdehumidifiersforhomereviews.com You can click on any of the links below and it will take you right to the blog. Thank you for watching this video, I've enjoyed making it for you.